Ну да, и шубрит. Шубрит. A look at what it's like to try to raise money for a film uh, here at the Marche in Cannes, but also uh, just as much an homage to Cannes as obviously the greatest film festival in the world. So we were very grateful to Thierry and very grateful to everyone at Cannes for helping us with the access here. And the only other thing I want to mention <coughs> is that. Um, Every film is ultimately the vision of one person, every good film. It's no matter how many pieces of advice should be got from me or from other people, uh, every film is the vision of, of one individual, man or woman. The film is a director's medium. And uh, what started off as us talking about doing a film, uh, a narrative film, where two actors, myself and another actor, Uh, we're very cynical and we hated the business and we hated our careers and all of a sudden we decided to have this resurgence and we dedicate ourselves to making a film and we go make a film. Uh, Jimmy and I were sitting there and we said, well then we have to actually shoot the film within the film. If we're going to have actors making a film, we have to do that. And we thought, God, that's going to cost a lot of money, so the hell with that idea. And, and, and out of this path of all these different ideas we had came this movie, which is in the end, and we are seduced and abandoned again and again and again by the process of making films and the promise of making a good film. But I want to say that the greatest joy for me and the greatest pleasure for me was to get to work with someone who is unlike any other human being I've ever met in my entire life, and someone who was adored by anyone in the film community that came in contact with James Tobin. that uh, Alec and I have as complete a relationship as two human beings uh, can have with the uh, temporary exception of carnal uh, dimensions. <laughs> But uh, it, it, it actually was a, uh, a birth that came out of two uh, freewheeling, somewhat perverse uh, minds, each bringing out the best in the other. And I've had great collaborations before, but never one like this. And never with somebody who maintained his level of excitement without any second thoughts whatsoever. whatsoever. Once we figured we were going to do something, that was it. And Alec was a, an immensely reliable person all the way through, which in a business in which treachery, ingratitude, and a general lack of character are so common that one expects them. One is sort of startled when one sees an exception to that. And this was an ongoing joy to be working with someone who's not only brilliant, but who carried a great sense of moral fiber along with him. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the other thing I really want to add um, to what Alex said about the movie is that, uh, and you'll see this, I want to say the joke, you'll see the angle when you see the movie, is that and, and the older I get, the more impatient I am with movies which don't acknowledge mortality in some fundamental and direct way. And this movie not only does that, it provides Alex with an opportunity to make fun of me because of the degree to which I insist that it be part of the film. But I think that to take a beautiful city like Cannes, to take a film that celebrates film, it, 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 it was necessary to undercut it a bit with a reminder of our mortality. On a practical level, I want to say that when we shot the movie, we didn't really know what we were going to do with it. We didn't really know what it was going to be. 
Um, I vaguely thought all along this really should be at next year's film festival, but we had no assurance that it would be at all. And I always thought that Thierry would be slightly squeamish about the idea of putting himself into a bucket of potential self-promotion. Because he's in the movie, he's very handsome in the movie, he comes off very well in the movie, and the, and the festival itself comes off very well in the movie. Nonetheless, I think it, it was great that he wanted it, it's great that it's here, and I think it, it makes a perfect round to this past year. Um, it, um, we, there was, I'll just finish with this, what Mickey Cohen called Anchidote, um, Winston <laughs> Churchill's favorite political story. He said Stalin was, uh, Stalin protected the Russian people by promise from birth to death. Roosevelt, in his five-year plan, Roosevelt in the New Deal said he would uh, protect the American people from womb to tomb. But I, Churchill said, will protect the British people from erection to resurrection. <laughs> so uh, this movie belonged in can from erection to the resurrection, which is taking place tonight. <laughs> 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 Can we have, we have three producers here with us, we can have film, the film wouldn't be possible. Uh, Neil, could you stand up please, Neil Schneider. <laughs> and Lee, and I heard, where are you now? And Michael Mann, where are you now? These are the four people who have put the film together, who produced the film. So thank you for that. And also a big round of applause please, to a series for both. No, 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 no. As the movie makes very clear, the ingredient in all film production is the essential ingredient is money. No movie that I've ever heard of has been made for free. And very few people will take any risk without a script. There is a, a bound notion that it's, it gives a false sense of security to people. And Jeff Berg, my agent, constantly reminded me of that when I was trying to figure out how to find someone to finance this movie. Of carrying an albatross by not having a script. So when I, Alan Helene came in as the first guy, and I said, you're going you're gonna to have to love the idea that there's no script, not just be okay with it. And he got on board with that notion from the beginning. And it was essential that all the people be in that spirit of saying, we'll discover what happens as we go along. So the result of that is this. Thank you very much.